is up guys, it's Beck Hikes, and today's video is another pros and cons video, this time it is on the Blue Ridge Parkway. I'll leave a link in the description for last week's video as that was another pros and cons video on the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. So let's get into the video. So let's start with the first pro. The first pro is pretty similar to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park's pro and that is there's good hiking trails. The sections I am talking about is from Cherokee, North Carolina to Asheville, North Carolina. Past that, I have not hiked too much so I don't want to give information on those, especially up in Virginia. I have not hiked any of those trails, but from the Asheville section to Cherokee, there's a lot of trails that are offered in that stretch of miles, and they can get busy, but nowhere as busy as the Smoky Trails have been. They do get pretty busy in the fall. I think the Blue Ridge Parkway seasonal in the fall is definitely the most packed time. Summer and spring can definitely get busy, but fall is the most busy that I've personally seen it, but it offers numerous trails throughout that stretch of miles so you can get a good drive in, get some good hiking in, and there's good sections from the Mountains to Sea Trail on that Blue Ridge Parkway that are pretty enjoyable. So it offers some good long distance trails, some short hikes, some hikes for people that may not be able to do the long distance or the ones you want to do the long distance. So I think the trails that are on the Blue Ridge Parkway are pretty unique. They offer some good views as the Smokies does too, but you don't get the amount of capacity of people on those trails as you would on the Smokies. Another pro for the Blue Ridge Parkway is that there is no fees, as this was also a pro for the Smokies, maybe a con, possibly a con for the parkway, but I think the access of having no fees to enter the park is what brings a lot of tourism into that park as well, as you can just drive by the Blue Ridge Parkway and there's an entrance, obviously you can just do a quick little drive onto the park, come out in another town, and I think that helps the surrounding towns as well. But the access of having no fees required to enter the park is a lot of the reasons why I'll just drive up there whenever I feel the need, either to watch a sunset, a sunrise, or even just a hike. I've been up there numerous times to see people who may not even be hiking just to drive through. You see a lot of bikers drive through as well. So I think that is a good pro for the Blue Ridge Parkway is that you don't have to have fees and have people worrying about if they need to pay or not to go in. They can just go in wherever they feel the need and I think that helps a lot for the Blue Ridge Parkway. So we're going to start with another pro too that is somewhat related to the Smokies but the Blue Ridge Parkway takes it to another level and that is the scenic drive. I've mentioned the drive on the Blue Ridge Parkway I don't know how many times in my videos when I hike up on the parkway and every time it is a breathtaking view it don't matter what season you go you can go the beginning of spring prime spring summer and then fall most beautiful time of the year in uh, Blue Ridge Parkway but the drive is definitely one of the better aspects of the park I think the drive can be one of the most enjoyable things I'll just go up there not even planning on hiking and just drive up to Water Rock and capture a nice view and enjoy the drive up there it's peaceful not too many people drive it depending on the season you're driving but it's a really scenic drive and I think that's one of the best aspects of it that people don't have to necessarily hike to enjoy this park. They can easily just drive up to Water Rock and back down or drive to other locations throughout the parkway and I think that's what brings in a lot of tourism to the parkway. Lastly the last pro is the similar pro to the Great Smokies and that is just the surrounding areas that benefit from the parkway. As you stated before, you can start in Cherokee, North Carolina, and as I mentioned, Cherokee has a lot of things to offer and for individuals to enjoy in that area. But once you start driving on the parkway, you will you have options to stop in these towns of Silva, North Carolina, Waynesville, North Carolina. And if you make your all the way out to Asheville, that's the town I would stop and try to visit. If you've never been through Asheville before or ever experienced downtown Asheville, it is something unique. I think it's a pretty cool area. And the atmosphere that is in that area, I haven't seen in much other areas around the U.S. that places I've visited before. But I enjoy Asheville. It has a really cool downtown area. So if you're driving through the parkway, you wanted to spend a little time in downtown in one of the cities, I would definitely pick Asheville, North Carolina. It is one of the cooler towns in this mountain area, but it is a growing city as well. It is very diverse in that area, which is pretty unique to it, I think. But downtown Asheville is a pretty cool area, and I think the rest of these areas do benefit, as I imagine the rest of the parkway areas benefit from the tourism that comes to this parkway, especially during fall. But the surrounding areas do offer a lot to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Now let's start with some of the cons. The first con is that obviously it can be pretty populated on the Blue Ridge Parkway. As I mentioned, the summer and spring months do start to bring in tourism but it's nowhere close to how many people will come on the fall seasons through the Blue Ridge Parkway. I've been on the Blue Ridge Parkway specifically last fall. I drove out more towards the Asheville area and 
I did see a lot of trails that were well-known trails, but were pretty populated with a lot of parking on the side of the road. Other than that, the trails itself, the smaller trails, you're always going to pass a lot more people than the longer distance trails. As for the water rock area that I always talk about a lot, those areas in the fall, summer, and spring months, preferably for the sunsets, not too bad for sunrises, but definitely the sunsets can get crowded all through the Blue Ridge Parkway. So if you were wanting to watch the sunset, you would have to get there fairly early or go to another pull-off or location. As there is a few pull-offs to enjoy the sunset, just the main ones that offer the best sunset views are the ones that's going to be full. As though Water Rock does offer a lot of parking up that area for sunsets. But anyways, the crowded areas do get crowded. But in my opinion and in my personal experiences, I've never seen them as crowded as the Smokies are. So that is also a con. But depending on which part you're going through is not a big of a con if you're going to the Smokies. Another con is the aspect that at least the sections I've talked about in this video from Asheville to Cherokee, they do get closed during the winter. I want to say from late November to maybe early March, they are closed throughout the majority, if not all of winter. So that aspect is kind of difficult because you can't go hike in that area. But you know, in the winter, trails aren't as busy so a lot of people would want to go hike up there so they can enjoy those trails and not have the problem of a lot of people on those trails when it does warm up but i think that is kind of a con obviously it prevents people from traveling but are people wanting to travel the woods parkway when there's no leaves on the trees or anything like that maybe i don't know but i do think it is a con when it is you know kind of a warm day in the winter like a 50 maybe even high 60s day when it gets towards february and you can't go hike on those sections of the parkway so it is kind of frustrating at times but like i stated once you get past Asheville, i think they don't get as much snow as these mountain areas do so especially at the higher points on the blue ridge parkway so those areas may be more open throughout the winter, but like I stated from Asheville to Cherokee, it is usually closed throughout the majority of the winter. So overall, I think the pros outweigh the cons, similarly to how the Great Smoky Mountain pros outweigh those cons. Both places are really beautiful, but can get busy due to the popularity of both areas. As for the Blue Ridge Parkway, I think it's one of the most beautiful drives you can experience. I mentioned that in this video tons of times. Previous hiking videos, I always recommend if you can make it out to the western part of North Carolina, I think you would truly enjoy it. If you can deal with the crowds and make it during the fall, I think you would really enjoy it. And if you get to experience the downtown Asheville atmosphere with the fall foliage of the Blue Ridge Parkway, I don't think there's much better you can do with that. So I'm hoping you guys enjoy the video and get a chance to make it out to the western part of North Carolina.